Angels are speaking to you today. The leaves falling, the birds chirping, the ocean crashing, the lone wildflower blooming in a sea of concrete, the billions of stars that pepper the night sky, the bunny-shaped clouds swiftly floating by, the moon shining no matter what face she's in, the music that seeps into your soul, the books you can't put down, the days that feel too good to be true, and the nights you pray will last forever. It's the little things. The sun peeking through the blinds mid-Sunday morning, the fragrances that teleport you to distant memories, the wind in your hair, the sand beneath your feet, laughing so hard it hurts, the art that makes you feel something you can't put into words, the poetry that tugs at your heartstrings, singing off-key in the shower, freshly made bread, butterflies in your stomach when you see them smile, the realization that everything is possible, that your dreams were planted in your heart for a reason, that the little things have always been the big things, and materialism will never outweigh the magic we find in moments. David asked the Lord if he should go to Judah, and God told him to go to Hebron, a city in Judah. So David went there, and when he arrived, the men of Judah anointed him as king of Judah. The men of Judah told David that the men of Jabesh Gilead buried Saul. David sent messengers to them and told them, The Lord bless you for showing this kindness to Saul, your master, by burying him. May the Lord now show you kindness and faithfulness, and I too will show you the same favour, because you have done this. During this time Abner, the commander of Saul's army, made Ishbosheth, Saul's son, king of Israel. Ishbosheth was forty years old when he became king, and he reigned for two years. They met at the pool of Gibeon, and Job agreed that they would have twenty-four men, twelve men each, fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The men had a fierce battle, but David and his men defeated Abner and the Israelites. Then Asahel, brother of Job, chased Abner persistently. Abner warned Asahel to stop chasing him, but he was stubborn, so Abner killed Asahel. Job and his men stopped pursuing the Israelites. The war between the house of Saul and the house of David continued. The house of Saul grew weaker, but as the house of David grew stronger, the war intensified. Six sons were born to David while he was in Hebron. Amnon, Kilib, Absalom, Adonijah, Shephatiah, and Ephraim. King Saul had a concubine named Rispa. Ishbosheth accused Abner of sleeping with her. During this time, sleeping with any of the king's wives or concubines was a claim to the throne and considered treason. Abner was furious that Ishbosheth would accuse him of such a thing after all he had done for Saul and his family. He said, May God deal with Abner, be it ever so severely, if I do not do for David what the Lord promised him on oath, and transfer the kingdom from the house of Saul, and establish David's throne over Israel and Judah from Dan to Beersheba. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.